Hello, in this video we're actually going to look at clinicaltrials.gov and how to search there. So if we just actually type in trials.gov to the main website. So clinicaltrials.gov is actually a service of the U.S. National Institutes of Health. However, it is a uh, conglomerate of clinical trials that may be located in both the United States and outside of the United States. So again, if you look at this uh, pie graph over here, you can actually see that there are a portion of the studies that recruit outside of the U.S. So this is a nice website to get a variety of information if we're looking at a specific drug, a specific disease states, or locations, um, and really just looking at human studies, whether they are uh, published in a journal or not, they can be registered at clinicaltrials.gov. So you can actually submit studies and some of the requirements are listed here, but you can actually register and update study information through clinicaltrials.gov. Now, what we'd be utilizing it for at this point would be to help search for specific trials that are available. So there is some information available on the main website about how to search that you can click through and take a look at at your convenience. And I'm just going to quickly go through some of the, the features of the website. So for consistency, I'm going to look at Aripiprazole or Abilify again. Okay. And if we just type in the drug name, basically what's going to happen is all these studies that may include Aripiprazole in their title or in their intervention will pop up. So again, there's 293 studies available here that have that have looked at or are currently looking at aripiprazole for various indications. So that's that can be quite useful. Another thing that we can do actually is if we click on the by topic tab, that actually allows us to sort of cross reference with a particular topic as it relates to aripiprazole. So for example, if we look at alcoholism or alcohol related disorders, we'll do alcoholism uh, related to aripiprazole, we can actually see there are some completed and recruiting studies and then one with an unknown status that involve aripiprazole in alcoholism. So that's, that's pretty helpful if we want to specifically look at this drug in this disease state. Okay, um, other things that we can do if we want to be a lot more specific, if we click modify search, we can actually go through and make more specific requirements of the study that we're searching for. So we'll stick with their PIP result, but we can actually decide is it open? Is it completed? So I'm going to click a completed study. I'm going to want a study that has results. And this tells you is it interventional or observational. I'm just going to leave it at all studies. And I'm going to look at our piprazole in depression. Okay. Again, we can pretty much put in whatever we want over here. If we want to know if it's sponsored by the drug company or if it's sponsored uh, by you know an NIH grant, we can look that up here as well, as well as where the location of the study may have occurred. So we can actually look up to a number of different locations to see where the study was performed. We also have the option of selecting gender. Um, I'll select adult here. I want to look at phase three trials. So if you remember, if you have paid attention to the lecture or will soon hear the lecture, you'll know what that means when I click phase three. Again, we can look at other funding and if there's any safety outcomes that may be prevalent in the study. So if we search, we see here we have two studies that look at aripiprazole in depression. So the combination of aripiprazole and antidepressants in psychotic major depression or aripiprazole in patients with major depressive disorder. And these both are completed studies that have results. So if I click on one, you can see here all the information. So this includes the clinical trials number, as well as dates that are um, re relevant with the study. And it gives you an overview of the information. You can also look at it in the tabular view, which just organizes the information slightly differently and you're able to kind of go through and it outlines a little bit more clearly what each of the informational 
areas that are available are. So we have our brief summary, which shows us what type of study it is and the purpose. We also have recruitment information, so how many patients were included in the study. And that's pretty useful. We can also go in and look at the results of the study. So this is great because even if for some reason the study has not been um, published in some sort of journal, we can still access some of the uh, result information if it's available. Now not all uh, studies are completed, not all studies will have result information available, but this gives you a better idea of what might be available in terms of information about a specific topic that you can look at through this website. So it's a pretty, pretty interesting and useful website to look at. Um, so again, it's, it's run by the U.S. National Institutes of Health, so it is a government-run website, but it is publicly available to anyone who has an internet connection and an interest in looking at clinical trials.